Let's do a little review today. Welcome back to the channel. We are in the new space right now. I finally have like a room where I can film and um, work. Uh, before it was everything was just like in my room and I, I stuffed everything in my closet. So now I'm able to kind of keep things a little bit organized. So you guys will be seeing a lot of different things I'm doing to the room and then I'll be doing like a lot of my bag drops here for Bag Crush. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys. Um, but before we get started, my name is Jenny. You guys know I'm just a little obsessed when it comes to handbags. I love anything and everything that makes my heart sing. If you're not following me on Instagram, please stop by and say hello. Before we get into that, I want to do a quick little unboxing. Um, this is a brand called Giorgiti. I hope I'm saying that wrong. I'm so sorry if not. Um, but they sent me this bag and I've been waiting to unbox it on the channel because I wanted something fun and festive. And I know it's been a big blur because you guys know I was moving and it's been super busy. Um, and I haven't really had a chance to really go out or do anything, but I love this bag. And I think it's like the perfect, like going out evening bag. Um, so I wanted to unbox it, but yes, they sent me this. It's so cute. It kind of gives me Prada Clio vibes in some sort of way. Um, it is very simple. It is like in this like silver metallic chrome material. It has a chain so you can actually wear it as a crossbody or you could wear it as a shoulder or just like a little handheld bag. How cute is this? Let me see. I see here. So here is the chain. It's so luxurious, if you guys can see that. I love the weight to this bag. I love the packaging. It comes with this really nice dust bag and this beautiful green box. And let's just see what the inside looks like. Ooh, so the inside is small, but you know, it's pretty spacious. It has a back pocket here. Let me see what this part looks like. Oh, fun. Look at the handles. It's super cute. So it feels like this is vegan leather, which is really nice, but I just love the size of this. And I think it'd be so cute for evenings, date nights and things like that. So I wanted to quickly unbox and share that with you. But today, what I really wanted to do was a review on this bag. I've mentioned her in many other videos. You guys know I picked this up from, um, a more Tokyo when I went not too long ago, a few months ago. And this was one of the bags that was on my wish list for a really long time. This is the Chanel Vintage Diana in the size medium. Um, I was debating between the small and the medium, but ultimately I decided on the medium for two reasons. The small costs more and the medium fits more. So I personally still find the medium to be small enough and cute and really functional. And to be honest, I've used her so many times and she's still in perfect condition. Like if there are any scratches or anything on the lambskin, what I do is I just condition it out and then it looks brand new again. This bag is probably 20 plus years old, but in an amazing condition. And that's why I always tell you guys, if you're looking for a Chanel piece, get yourself a vintage piece. They're made so well and the, everything is 24 karat gold. And for me, it's more worth it to invest in vintage Chanel versus new Chanel. And if you guys watched my last video on what I won't be buying in 2024, Chanel, new Chanel is one of the things I probably will not be buying in 2024 just because of the high prices <laughs> and it feels like every couple of months they're doing an increase. Um, but also I just love and appreciate vintage Chanel so much more. So this has been my baby for the last few months, but let me just give you a tour of the bag. It is very simple. It is just a flap bag and there's not much to it. There's an interior pocket here with a zipper and then also another slot here. So you can actually fit a very, very decent amount. I actually use my Zumoni insert. I love Zumoni inserts because you get to customize it to the bag, but ultimately for the felt, you can pick the thickness of it. So 
I pick a thin one just because sometimes when it's too thick, it takes up space in the bag, which I didn't want. So I always go for the thinner um, material. But here it allows me to not only protect the bag, but it also allows me to have more organization because there's like pockets and things inside here too. So ultimately I carry so much in this bag and it all fits inside here. This is the bag I'm currently using. You can see the inside is just, you know, very standard. They have, there's this cute little like CC um, zipper pull over there. And I love Zimoni inserts too, because it helps keep the shape of the bag, which I really appreciate. But right now I don't have too much in here. I just keep, you know, a compact, lippy, my AirPods, little catch all where I put my gift cards, um, my wallet I took out because I was running errands, sanitizer, and a lotion. So yeah, there's really not that much I need to carry to be honest, but this bag fits everything and more. And I honestly think, I mean, I don't, I like rotating my bags overall, but you could definitely use this as like an everyday bag and just, you know, obviously don't throw it around and stuff, but I think it's pretty durable. The drop length is perfect for crossbody. I don't actually have any classic flaps in my collection anymore. I sold most of them. Um, and the reason is not because I don't love it. Like, I think I want to eventually add it back. Um, but I don't like how they don't crossbody. So one of the ones I did let go of is one I customized with leather surgeons. And I was able to add a longer chain. And I really love that one. But you guys know, as I was moving, I just expenses were built up. So I let go of that bag. But eventually, I think I want to get something like that back in the collection again. Um, but the standard classic flap is more shoulder, but the standard classic flap has a shorter strap. I'm five, 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 six. So on me, it does sit like a little too high, but if you're shorter than that, it probably will fit you perfectly. And you like a higher, um, bag when you wear it, then it works out perfectly. But for me, I want it a little bit longer. So the Diana actually works out really well. I was debating, um, you know, like which one I wanted to keep because I did have a classic flap in my collection as well in a size small. Um, but I did also let go of that one too. I was deciding if I wanted to keep that one or this one, but ultimately I felt like for me, like this is just easier to use, but now I want to add that back again in my collection. But you can't go wrong with the classic. To me, this is like a vintage classic. To add a beige next time to the collection, I think it would just be so good. But these are definitely one of my favorite, favorite vintage Chanel styles. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I just want to hop on really quickly, do a quick little review, give this bag some love, tell you guys how much I love it because it's one of my favorites currently. If you guys have any um, reviews you want to see, like certain bags that you guys are thinking about getting that you want to review of, I might have that bag. I can review it if I have it. Um, or if you guys want me to source anything to put into our bag crush bag drop, you can always DM me as well and I can help you with that. But other than that, you guys, um, I just wanted to hop on really quickly and start getting back to weekly videos. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.